Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. Today I am doing a reading for Sagittarius. The reading is based on love. It is a love reading. It is timeless, so whenever you see it, you will, whenever you open, I should say, the video, you will probably more or less activate the energy behind it. And we are going to be answering the question, how does your person feel about you? Any question like that that you may have, um, it could be, how do they really feel about you? What do they want to happen? Um, what are their intentions? And so on. All right, Sagittarius, we are going to start by shuffling. I'm getting one card from my Crystal Ball Oracle, one card from the Island Time Wellness, and I will be do using the Oceanic Tarot for the actual read, okay? So Sagittarius, let's start with getting a crystal ball oracle. I really need to give that a good shuffle. These tiny little cards are pretty direct to the point. So let's see what information we get from them. There you go. Got it. All right, so what did we get? You're going in the right direction, Sagittarius. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. All right, so let's do the Island Time Wellness. We need one from here. Ooh, I'm gonna give it a, a little bit more of a shuffle because I didn't get through the whole thing. Jeez, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to take it. All right, Leo just got two of these as well. The Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. All right, and then talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hoovering. All right, so there's some good stuff going on. So it's a lighthearted, things coming to light, and conversing more, and you might get a message you've been waiting to hear. All right, so definitely, I got two of those, two very similar cards, and it says you're going in the right direction, Sagittarius. So it tells me that you are doing something right. All right, uh, let's see, let's find out what happens. Let me clear out the energy. You are my last of the Zodiac for this, this um, I don't know what they're called, this, this row of segments. So I, I want to clear out your energy very well. I'm actually going to shuffle them traditionally just to get some of that energy out completely. All right, sometimes I feel like the last, the last one gets energy from everybody and we don't want that. So let's get these mixed up. This way, kind of let that energy flow away. Clean cards is what I want to work with. Let's get a couple more shuffles, good ones here. I'm gonna do a couple more. I just, I feel like I need, it's almost like a cleansing for the card. To get this done like this. All right, let's do this last one. So this, whoa, they just keep slipping out of there. They are slippery cards, so okay. Now, I'm going to pull six cards and an underlying type of energy card as well. Let's see what Sagittarius's person feels about them. And again, it's how does your person feel about you? Could be a secret, could not. Maybe they've told you, maybe you're just waiting. For more information, let's find out. I mean, it says that you're interested, you're conversing more, you're awaiting a message, a text, a call, or an email. Okay, things coming to light. And looks like things are moving ahead. Sagittarius, they're going in the right direction. Ooh, almost all those fell out, almost. I need one or two cards for Sagittarius to start. All right, you start, you're starting with the Seven of Swords, okay? I 
need a little more information. That is a card. It's it has a lot of different meanings. Um, it's known as the Thieve card as well. It's kind of like the the thief leaving evidence behind. It could also be the cheating card. It could be betrayal. It could also be like feeling like you lost something, feeling like someone took something from you as well. So you know, it just really depends on what's around it. Okay, so let's see what this feeling of losing something or deceitfulness is about. Let me get one or two cards for Sagittarius. One or two more cards for Sagittarius. One or two more cards for Sagittarius. Oh, we got one. Ten of Swords. Oh my good. Oh my goodness, swords, swords, swords. All right, a lot of thoughts, lots and lots of thoughts. Ten of swords, can't get worse. <laughs> you know, when you're rock bottom, you're, there's only one way to go but up. Okay, Sagittarius, so something looks like it's as bad as it could be. Something has ended, which could be a good thing sometimes, Sagittarius, okay? Got it, got two. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the slow moving energy, and the Knight of Wands. It's a very, uh, okay. Hmm, interesting. This energy here is more about um, doing things the right way. It's a long-term, more of an offer of long-term, of being together for a long time, stability, security. And this energy right here is more exciting, like the Knight of Wands. It's kind of like the player energy. It's a very sexually charged energy. It's it's fun. I mean, this, this is more like a fun energy here, where this one is more of a serious, more stable type of energy. So let's find out. Something is ending, okay? Or something, yeah. Oops. All right, we got our two cards here. Ace of Pentacles. So this one, yeah, that one would be here. And you got the King of the Ocean. So this is basically um, the Emperor card, okay? Let's see what your underlying energy is. The Ten of Cups, or their, because uh, it's about, I, I mean, I'm saying yours, but I really mean, we're trying to answer the question, how does your person feel about you? All right. Let's find out. Okay, so again, you're going in the right direction. The Dragonfly, um, you're talking, interested more, showing interest, and getting a much awaited for communication, piece of communication from this person. This person has a 10 of cups energy around them. So there is definitely very, very high interest for you, Sagittarius. And it's, it, you know, you have two completion cards, two ending cards. You have a 10 here and a 10 here. Now it looks to me like this person is feeling like they are ready to move away from a current relationship that they have. Relationship is on their mind. It could be the end of a relationship. It could also be the beginning of a relationship. You have two sort of beginnings here. You have the Knight of Wands, which is a passionate, fun type of energy, beginning, you know, like communication. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles. Now you do have the Ace of Pentacles, which kind of changes the feel a little bit from this card. It makes it not such a sexually charged type of energy. It makes it a little bit more real, which is a good thing, unless you're just looking for like a one night stand. But I don't know about that, Sagittarius. I don't know where you are, but this, this changes the feel a little bit, okay? So let's get back to this row right here. So this person um, is definitely interested. They have, uh, the cups are about love and emotions. They are definitely feeling a lot for you. 
Um, I feel like they are coming to an end in a relationship that they're in. And it looks like they're kind of moving away from a, a, a relationship that's been around for a while. They don't want it anymore. Okay, so they're kind of turning their back. They see it as more of an ending of their current situation and they would like to explore. And then we're gonna look at these down here. Let me move just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, they're kind of ready to move into this kind of energy with you. And this is what they see with you. All right, they see um, a lot of potential as far as uh, interest. Um, things that you guys have in common. You guys have a lot of fun together and they would like to see if they can begin this type of relationship. If you guys are friends, maybe they want to take it to a higher level and maybe explore the possibility of having a relationship. Okay. And I feel like I'm not getting any type of feeling like they're waiting for you to do something necessarily. I feel like in time, this person is comfortable enough to reach out to you and let you know how they, how they feel, okay? So if you are a female and this is a male you're thinking of, they will reach out to you. If you are a male and you have a mind in a female, I think the female has the, the enough comfort with you that they will, they're secure enough, I feel, to just kind of let you know that they're ready for things to move to a different level. However, we do have the Emperor, which is the King of the Ocean energy going on in here. And I am not sure that this person is going to be ready to jump from a relationship to another relationship. Now, the Emperor is the father of the tarot, where the Empress is the mother of the tarot. This person is very compassionate. They're um, very fair. Um, but they like things to be done in a certain order. So this person does have like a sense of principles and a sense of morals that they abide by. So I don't think that you're going to be, um, if it's on your mind, Sagittarius, I just don't feel like this person is going to be um, willing to give you just, you know, a fun type of, they're not just here to give you a good time, okay? They do think a lot about what they want, how they want things to be, and they do have their set um, type of, they're pretty set in how they want things to be, okay? Now they do have the Ten of Cups on their mind. They are, you know, they're a fun energy. They, they want to try to, this takes away from like, t for me, like the way I'm reading it, the Ace of Pentacles takes that element of one night stand just in it for, you know, friends with benefits, that is not going to happen. And having the emperor next to that card as well is supporting that, that this person does want to maybe take things to a higher level. They eventually would like to get here someday. This is what's on their mind. I'm not saying that's necessarily with you, Sagittarius, but it is in the end how they think. And this is more or less telling you the thought process that they have. They're not in it just to have sex and to have a good time. What they're looking for in the end is more of an emotional connection and they would like, you know, their relationships to lead them somewhere. So they wouldn't be choosing you if they didn't think that there's a possibility that things can move toward that direction at some point. It doesn't look to me like they're really in a hurry. You know, this card right here, the Knight of Pentacles, I feel it has like a dual purpose. It could talk about a previous longer term relationship that they had here, but it could also go right here and join this group where they are not in a hurry to explore this type of relationship with you either. Okay, they are the knight that does things the right way. And it looks to me like the dual purpose uh, here is this card is kind of lending itself to both sides, okay? They don't want to rush into anything. They acknowledge that you guys can have something together. And they are, I think they're perfectly comfortable letting you know that they, that's how they feel, okay? Just know that, you know, they're not necessarily in a hurry. I feel like they feel like their previous relationship kind of came to an end, or maybe they broke up or they left someone. Either way, they do have a purpose in wanting 
to continue this friendship or beginning stage of a relationship with you. Just don't try to push them too hard because the emperor is a force to be reckoned with and they do have their set morals and they know what they want and I don't think that they would tolerate you pushing them too hard for any direction of what you may want. They're not in a hurry. They're a lot of fun. They can offer you a lot of fun. Um, you might get a little wrapped up in them, Sagittarius, because they looks like they really are a fun energy. Um, just know that they operate more of a what could be for long term. They do invest emotionally in relationships. So know that they're coming from a place where they're just taking their time because they want to make sure things are done the right way. Okay? And nothing you do is going to force them to do something they don't want to do. All right, that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. Please give me a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave me a comment. I would love to see how this resonates. So I think that these lighthearted ending, finding out, things come to light. I hope this brought some of that stuff to light. And a long-awaited message, you're going to get it. Okay, Sagittarius? All right, so that's it. Thank you, Sagittarius. And thank you for visiting my channel, Miami Star Tarot. I will see you later. Bye-bye.